Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting piece of kit here known as the U-Console from Clockwork Pie. Now some of you may be familiar with this company from their game shell. This was released a few years ago and it's a pretty awesome do-it-yourself handheld gaming console. Then they came to the market with the dev term, another awesome little handheld portable device. As you can see, it's got that built-in keyboard. I did a video on that one also, but today we've got the brand new U console. So like I mentioned, this is a do-it-yourself kit, and this actually comes with everything you need to get up and running except for the 18650 batteries. We'll take a look at those in a little bit. But again, we've got a Linux-powered portable console here with some really awesome features built in. And over on their website, you can choose from a few different models, and basically the differences between, I think they offer three right now, is going to be your CPU and RAM combo. Some of them do offer a bit better performance on the GPU and CPU, but what we have here is powered by a Raspberry Pi CM4, and I opted to get this one for maximum compatibility. As we know, there's still a lot of community development going on with the Raspberry Pi, and I really wanted to get the most out of this unit that I could. The shell itself is fully constructed of aluminum. It's got that built-in keyboard with dome switches, and it is backlit. Overall, really like what they've done here, and this one does come with the Raspberry Pi CM4. And by the way, the U-Console kit is 4G compatible. It comes with the module you'll need for your SIM card. The only thing this kit doesn't come with are batteries. And this is powered by 18650 cells. You can get away with just using one if that's all you have. But I've got two 2000 milliamp hour cells right here, giving me a total of 4000 milliamp hours for this handheld. And another really cool thing about this is it's got a rollerball trackpad, just like on an old Blackberry. Now we're going to jump right into the assembly, and like I mentioned, the shell is constructed of aluminum. And taking a quick glance at the instructions, it's actually really simple to assemble. Now the first thing we need to do here is install our screen. This is a 5-inch 720p IPS display, and we're going to install this in the midsection of the device. Next up, we need to install our keyboard PCB. This does use dome switches, but they actually feel really good once everything's installed. And I also noticed that the keyboard PCB does have micro USB. Now we're not going to be using it for the build, but you could plug this into a PC and use it directly on that device. Oh yeah, and the keyboard here is also backlit, so you can use this thing very easily in the dark. The screen here with the U console does not support touch, so we do need an easy way to kind of navigate the operating system. And for this, they opted to use a trackball. Anybody who's ever picked up a BlackBerry knows exactly what this is going to feel like. And I mean, it's just like going back there. It actually works really well with the firmware they have for Raspberry Pi OS. Now that we have the screen, keyboard, and trackball in place, we're going to put on the front plate here. And the screen does have this little protector on it. Kind of just wanted to peel it back a bit so it'll be easier to get off once everything's put together. But this is going to be held in with six screws. Well, they're more like bolts, and it is hex hardware. Very high quality. And really, the only tool you'll need to assemble this is included. Moving around to the back of the console, we need to install the Clockwork Pi V3 1.4 Revision 5. That's the one that came included with this. And this new version supports their CM4 core board. So basically, it's just like a little RAM DIMM. We're going to install the CM4 directly to the core board. We'll go ahead and make sure everything's lined up. Make sure it snaps down nice and snug. And now we can slot this directly into the Clockwork Pi 3.14 board. As you can see, it locks right in just like a SODIMM RAM stick would in a laptop. And now we need to install our Wi-Fi antenna. So this does support a 4G module and it comes included, but this is simply our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna that's going to go directly to the CM4. The U console also comes with dual speakers, so we'll go ahead and install those. And uh, basically, when we install our 4G module, it's going to make contacts with the pins on the back of those speakers, connecting it to the whole system. So this is going to slot right in. It's got a SIM card slot directly on the 4G module. So if you did want to add LTE to the U console, you can definitely do it right out of the box. We're actually almost done with assembly. We've just got a few more things to do here, like adding the battery module. Two 18650 cells will fit inside of here. But like I mentioned at the beginning, you could run this off of a single 18650 if you wanted to. And if you don't have those batteries on hand when you assemble this, you can plug USB Type-C directly into the USB Type-C port on the U console and get power to the unit just to make sure you've assembled everything properly. The final thing we need to do here is install the back cover. And this is also aluminum. This is what's going to cool down our CM4 module. 
because they've also included a large thermal pad that'll go directly on that CPU. And once we place the back cover on, put the six screws in it, we're gonna be good to go. It will make contact with that back cover in turn offering more than enough aluminum to cool that CM4 CPU off. Go ahead and get this protective cover off of the screen and we'll boot it up for the first time. This came with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card with our image already installed, so we've got an operating system. Right now, we're running Raspberry Pi OS with all of the drivers and firmware installed for the keyboard, the uh, trackball, the screen. Everything should work right out of the box using their included image. But yeah, I do think this thing looks really awesome. Very industrial look. They also include a kickstand that you can install. Just two screws on the side that'll hold everything up for you. I think they've done a really great job putting this thing together, and uh, we've got a built-in controller so we can play some retro games on here. We've got that full backlit QWERTY keyboard, and of course, since we're using that Compute Module 4, we've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's actually AC Wi-Fi. Plus, since it's a Pi, there's lots of software that we can install and mess around with on this unit. So up top, we've got our power button with an LED indicator plus a micro SD card slot. Over here on the right hand side, one full size USB 2.0 port. We've also got USB type C for charging up the battery and just powering the unit in general. Micro HDMI and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And over here on the left hand side, we've got our Clockwork Pi expansion port. It is sold separately, but uh, you can always pick it up from their store. You can adjust the built in screen brightness directly from the keyboard, and we can also enable or disable the backlit on the keyboard itself. My image here might not come across as well, but we do have a backlit keyboard, single color. It does look pretty decent, and over on the website, they do give you a better look at it. And I know it might seem strange to some people, but my favorite thing about the U console, besides the overall look, is this built in trackball. It works out really well with Raspberry Pi OS, but some people may want a touch screen and it would be nice if they had the option, but unfortunately from everything that I've seen over on their website right now, they don't offer a touch screen model of the U console yet. Typing on the built-in keyboard is really satisfying. We've got a little bit of click here from those dome switches and you can get to all of these keys very easily, just holding it in your hand like this. You don't have to set it down or anything like that. Just ran a quick update from terminal. But so far, I've been having a blast with the U console, and to tell you the truth, it's actually the most fun I've had with the Raspberry Pi in a while now. But uh, of course, we are limited to the performance of the Raspberry Pi, or the CM4, which is basically a Raspberry Pi 4 with a little bit of an overclock, and of course, there are some tweaks we can do here with Raspberry Pi OS to make it run a bit better. Built-in speakers aren't that loud, but we do have that 3.5 millimeter audio jack over on the side. And, uh, you know, if you're familiar with the performance that the CM4 can put out, then you know exactly what this thing can do. And the Raspberry Pi does retro emulation really well. With this image that they provide, it does have RetroArch pre-installed. I just went with the XMB theme, installed a few cores here, and we'll go with some uh, GBA first, then we'll move over to some Sega Genesis. Here's Sonic Advance 2 for Game Boy Advance. The built-in controller was mapped with RetroArch right out of the box with this image they provide. We've got our D-pad over here, a little bit of clickiness to it because it's also using dome switches. A, B, X, Y, L, R. There's no rear buttons on the U console, but one thing I have noticed here is a little bit of screen tearing with RetroArch. I'm sure some configuration would definitely fix that up, but let's move over to some Sega Genesis real quick. We'll just go with Air Buster. And overall, the D-pad works pretty well for these retro games. Obviously, we don't have any analog sticks or anything built in. You could always connect an external controller and use that mini HDMI to get a bigger display, but we can use this trackball with certain PC games and emulators that would support it. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely need a little bit of getting used to. I probably need to adjust the sensitivity so I can kind of scroll a little further with one scroll here, but uh, I can definitely play these games with it. First impressions here, the U console. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Like I mentioned, it's the most fun that I've had with the Raspberry Pi in some time now. Build quality is awesome. Assembly is super easy here. And since this is using a Raspberry Pi, there's a lot of different operating systems that we can mess around with on this unit. And that's something I'd actually like to take a look at in a future video. So if the interest is there, definitely let me know down below. But that's going to wrap it up for this first look video. If you're interested in learning a little more about the U console, I will leave some links in the description. And again, if there's anything else you want to see running on the U console, just let me know down below. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.